we are about to scale this load because it's 46,000. How much? Let's see how much it weighs. 46,838 pounds. I know that I am between 31 and 32 um, with a full fuel tank. So I should be fine. But I only have, uh, let's see how much fuel I got. I got a quarter tank of fuel right now. Yeah, a quarter tank of fuel. I'm about to do a fuel stop, which is going to add. 700, 1200 pounds, somewhere up in there. Diesel weighs around seven, seven pounds per gallon, by the way. Um, just so I can make sure that I, I'm allowed to get a full tank of fuel. Um, otherwise, I might have to do half or three quarters or something like that. So, so I've got a, I've got six hours, six and a half hours to get to my receiver. Uh, they don't open till Monday, so I'm gonna be resetting in Iowa. I've never been to the I-80 truck stop, so if I drive by there, I'm going to stop and check it out. See what's happening there. Never been. Let's go get this bad boy weighed. This windmill, this windmill right here is going crazy. I don't know what the frame rate is on my phone. That thing sounds like a helicopter. I stopped at this rest stop to use the restroom and I was like, what is that sound? Oh my God. That thing's going to take off. Well, I just parked in Des Moines, Iowa, at a Love's over here. <clears throat> so earlier, when I was scaling out my load, scaled it out, drove around the fuel island like you guys saw. Um, <sighs> turned off the truck, turned my lights off, locked the door, stepped out the truck, boom. Hard wind hit the side of the truck and shut the door. Come on, man. And I didn't have my keys yet. So I uh, had to call a tow company to come unlock the doors. That's $125. I will probably never see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call real Monday and be like, look, y'all told us we can't have any hide of keys. So I'm going to use that as my premise to try to get my $125. $25 back. Whether that works or not, I don't know. Um, but, oh my God. So, moral of the story, grab your keys from now on before you uh, before you step out of your truck. I don't know if y'all do that or not. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But now, I will. And I'm going to get a spare key next time I'm at a terminal, too. What I was looking at scaling, though, so I had three quarters of a tank when I left the receiver the uh bill of laden said i was like 46 878 something like that. that's, that's how much the the sheetrock was so i knew i was pretty close but i wanted to weigh myself because i knew i had a fuel stop coming up where i was going to fill up and diesel weighs seven around seven pounds per gallon so i would be getting 100 to 120 gallons so that'd be 700 to 840 pounds. Um, so I scaled out though. You see that right there? Uh, 78,000. That was with tad over a quarter of a tank. 
So, it was 78, 180. So I know that I had plenty of room to get either 700 pounds or 840 pounds of fuel. So, but yeah, then I had to wait freaking two hours on that tow truck to get there to unlock the truck, and he was, boom. He unlocked it like it was, well, like it wasn't nothing. So, yeah, so I just parked. So let's do this post trip. So what's up YouTube? I'm back. I took a little, uh, took a little break from the interwebs. Been a little busy lately. Um, so if you've sent me an email, I promise I've seen it. I just haven't had a chance to respond. Believe it or not, I really haven't had a chance to respond. Come on, man. Uh, been a little crazy out here on the road. Um, and this guy just did a perfect alley dock right next to me. Um, getting right next to me. We've got a big pile of snow in between us, as you can tell. So, oh man, what has been going on with me? So the entire company, not the entire company, there was, oh, there was a bunch of us. Uh, right when it started getting cold a few weeks ago, everybody's bunk heater decided it was not gonna work anymore. And when it gets down to 14 degrees and you don't have a bunk heater, that is no good, no good at all. So I went to Geary to get mine fixed. They were so backed up with other bunk heaters that they couldn't get mine fixed. Um, so in the meantime, I bought a heated blanket. I recommend everybody that has a truck to get a heated blanket. Cause that, that kind of held me over and I actually still use it now that uh, they got my bunk heater working. Uh, the terminal in Conley, Shout out to those mechanics down there because they hooked it up. They uh, they fixed my bunk heater last time I was home, which was two weeks ago. Had to replace the combustion chamber and coolant switch, which I don't know if that has anything to do with the uh, with the bunk heater and something else. Anyway, it's blowing fire now. So sorry for not responding to anybody. I got I got a, a bunch of emails that I have to respond to. I will get better at it. I'm gonna start putting out more videos too. Let's see, we got a pre-trip, a trip plan. Um, I'm gonna do a shower video for those that are kind of wondering what the hell it's like to take a shower in a truck stop. It's not bad actually. Some of them are pretty nice. If you find a new Lowe's, Loves, um, they're really nice. And TA just uh, put out, their CEO put out a statement saying that they're about to remodel all their locations. I'm interested to see what they do because that's that's it's got a lot of potential. Those places are always huge. Which this loves that I'm at uh, looks like it used to be a restaurant or something. I don't, I don't know. I might I might do another video tomorrow because I'm doing my 34 here right now so I might do another video tomorrow and we'll go on a little walk in the TA and then there's a Menards over there that I'm gonna go check out um so I've only been in one once <clears throat> and I talked to my son they got like a bunch of random cool toys in there I might have to get Brenton something surprising there's a random car driving around back here so um god what else is that oh 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 new guys and pros New guys, when you're passing somebody, make sure you give them plenty of room. I can't tell it didn't it isn't civilians cutting me off. It's truckers that cut me off more than anything. So you you veterans, stop cutting people off if it's you. If it's not you, I'm sorry. Um, it's annoying because I you gotta slow down because you can't see in front of them and you don't know if they're gonna hit their brakes or anything. Especially going up a hill or going down a hill. Don't be stupid, man. You're going to end up getting somebody hurt. Um, ha, he's got two little Dotsons with him, too. How about that? Y'all see him? Ha, there they are. There they are right there. <laughs> uh, there going to be some yellow snow out there in a minute. Come on, man. Apparently the weather's supposed to get bad here in a little while. Have they said anything else on the CB? Nope. 
people were talking about it a little while ago. The weather's bad just north of here already. So, whew. Take my, my Macklemore jacket off. That's what they told me at, uh, in Geary. Was it yesterday? No. Two days ago? Whenever I was there. I don't know. So, oh. Lord, if you obviously if one of your headlights go out, maintenance will give you a new bulb. Or if you're out on the road, you can they'll they'll buy a new bulb for you, just a regular bulb. So I got to talking with this guy in the laundry room at Gary, and he was like, "Have you gotten LED lights for your truck yet?" And I was like, "No, I didn't know we could do that." Well, you can, and I did, and they are super bright. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put a link down there for in the description. Where on where you can get them from Amazon? Uh, it was eighty dollars for all four of them. They're H11s. Your high beams and your low beams are H11s. And oh man, them things are so bright. So whoever had this truck before me had broken the mount for the passenger side low beam. Um, so mine kept falling out whenever I replaced them. One of those LED lights was brighter than two of the standard light bulbs that come with this truck. It's like, I can see at night now. It is, it is great. Which, I mean, you could see it a little bit at night previously, but nowhere near as good. Oh my God. And then you put the, the bright beams on. It's like you've got a beam of sunlight coming out of the front of the truck. It is amazing. Amazing. But... Just for reference, here is a before and after picture of what it is. Uh, and granted, it is at Conley in front of one of the street lights, but you can still see the difference. There's a big difference. One more thing. Don't block the scales, especially from your coworkers. There was this guy the other day, pulled up on the scale, and then I pulled up behind him because I need to scale out too. Um, and then I see his tandems stationary in the back of his dry van coming back towards me. Especially don't adjust your tandems on the scale. You don't do that. There's signs everywhere. You don't block the scale. <clears throat> and for you new people and some of you old people because you don't do it. You get your scale. You talk to the person on the microphone or the speaker or whatever. You pull out and you get out of the way so everybody else can scale. Don't block the scale. I ain't gonna call anybody out, but truck number 1467, stop blocking the scale. Come on, man. What else has happened in my world? I've finally, so being from Georgia, I've never experienced like super cold weather, like lower teens multiple times. I think single digits once or twice. I did Sub-Zero the other day, and let me tell you what. Oh, my God. Negative, I don't know, negative two or negative four when I woke up. The other, that's cold. That's really, really cold. Luckily, I was prepared. I got two, uh, actually, I bought a Wrangler jacket from Walmart. This bad boy right here. Get you one of these. It's got a hood on it. Um, it's like 30 bucks. They got gray, black, that Carhartt tan color. That thing's a lifesaver. Cause you know, you put on them hoodies and you're out there strapping and tarping stuff and the wind goes right through them or they get you too hot and you sweat and, every, and everything. That, um, and then once you start sweating, you're freezing. So, but that thing, that keeps you cool. Man, I got more gloves too. Then I got my Macklemore jacket, and then I've got a huge gray hunter jacket. Um, which those two I don't wear while I'm working, so that they really don't matter. Uh, got some new gloves. I finally got the whole glove situation under control. Um, finally. Y'all want to see the gloves? Yeah, y'all want to see the gloves? I'll show you the gloves real quick. All right, glove time. So what was that? I don't know what that was. So, uh, they're all hex armor. I've still got my deer skin ones. Um, let me do these first. Let me do these other ones first. There's a, there's a reason I'm doing that too. 
All right, so these are when it's not cold. These bad boys right here. Um, they got this material on them. It's not plastic. I don't know what it is, but the straps won't burn through them. And then there's a uh, there's just rubber on the top. So if I don't know, you can't really bust your knuckles or anything on them. See, you still got your dexterity. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. You can't beat them. Even got a little thing right there, um, and the they call it TPX material. The TPX material is wrapped around your finger, so the uh, what am I trying to say? The straps can't burn right there or right there. And next, I've got these same company. I've used these obviously a little more. Um, so these were ten dollars. These were fifty something. I don't remember where they were waterproof they've got that same material on it um and right here same thing and the uh the rubber on the back yeah waterproof and they're insulated um so when it's a little bit colder i wear these <laughs> and then i got the bad boys coming up the bad boys are coming up i call these my thanos gloves this is this is the gauntlet right here <laughs> they have the TPX material, so it's goat skin, this black stuff's goat skin, and then the TPX material is right here, and then right there, and then there's some on the finger, and then in your crotch of your uh, your thumb and your index finger. They are Arctic insulated. Um, I'll put links for all, all three of these in there. Um, haven't tried these out yet. Um, looking forward to it. And I've also got glove liners. I don't know if y'all are familiar with these, but my girlfriend turned me on to these. She's from Chicago, so she's used to being cold all the time. Um, these are some old cheapos from Amazon. But they work. Apparently, you put these on first, then you put your, your other glove on. And it's kind of a... It adds another layer. Um, yeah. These were 59, I think. These are the more expensive ones. Um, these are rescue gloves, though. These were like 10 or 15 dollars. I don't know. I'll put a link to all of them in there. But the reason I'm showing y'all this, my hands hurt. If, if it's cold outside, it's like painful. I can last about 30, 45 minutes, but when I get back in here and the blood starts going back into my fingers. They literally hurt. It feels like somebody's taking a knife and stabbing me. Um, I got tired of buying mechanics gloves all the time. So I figured, you know, all right, I'm spending $30 every three weeks on a new pair of mechanics gloves. And then I even switched brands for a little while. Um, and they would still fail. So why not go ahead and spend 50 something on these that have lasted? I think these are. I'm going on a month and a half right now and they're holding strong so you know i'm actually spending less money even though i got more expensive gloves um let me turn that thing down it's blinding me so oh man what else has happened what else has happened all right so i think that probably is going to be it um for today i'm i'm planning on doing another video <clears throat> another video tomorrow there is a lot of car traffic in this parking lot there's a lot um planning on doing another video tomorrow <clears throat> i don't know what yet though i've got a lot of subjects i want to cover um but yeah to my new subscribers thank you um and again everybody you know i know a few of y'all have sent me emails that I have not responded to yet. I'm going to get on that. I'm going to get on it tomorrow, though. So I'm going to rest a little bit tonight, edit this video, uh, probably play some... I, got, I bought Call of Duty Cold War. Probably going to shoot some Russians. Um, also have uh, Wolfenstein 2. I know it's an older game, but it, it's been quite entertaining, actually, shooting Nazis at night. 
So yeah, I'm gonna have some me some me time since I didn't get to go see my girlfriend this weekend. I'm still upset about that. <clears throat> but yeah, that's neither here nor there. Um, so anyway, yeah, y'all continue to like, comment, subscribe. I promise I will uh, be back on my game about responding to everybody and making more videos. So y'all be safe out there. <laughs>